Hey, hey, Jacob here. Welcome, friends, to an extremely low-risk Calvarium guide, okay? Um, I think I've pretty much nailed the, the gear setup slash guide, if you will. Um, I'll get talking about Calvarium in a bit, but I've created this method, or this vid, for, for, for first-time uh, Calvarium um, triers, if you will, uh, if you're scared of them PKs, if you don't want to risk pretty much nothing at all, just to get an idea of the boss itself, uh, anyone can do this method, providing you have the stats, of course. Um, it, it just gets you out there, gets you unafraid of of any PKs, and just just gets you in the wild, so that I can fucking PK you. No, no, I'm playing. I'm on your team. A quick intro of. Of the, the the setup, guys, is the helm of Nate Snot can be swapped for the Dwarven helm. Um, it, the Dwarven helm is untradeable, but you do have to pay like 60k, I think, to purge you. So don't take that. But for PKs, they don't get the money. Um, so just take a helm, Nate Snot. You get more melee damage. For, what I will say is the salve amulet enchanted is your main item. Make sure you do that quest, okay? Because the the Calvarion, he really is fragile to this to this lucky pig. Fucking medallion. The mythical cape, again, they're all untradeable items. The PKs ain't getting nothing, ladies and gents. Again, easily replaceable. The bludgeon, okay, you can get a dragon mace and a defender, which makes it even more cheaper for you, but in today's runescape economy, the, the absolute bludgeon's only 10 mil. Get yourself that. The barrow's gloves, again, can be swapped for rune gloves or adamant, whatever tickles your peach. Primordial boots, again, dragon boots don't cost a penny and you don't even need a berserker ring I just take it because I'm hard as fuck um, but it can be swapped for a ring of wealth or whatever anyway with all that being said this is what you're you're risking not even 100k okay if you are to TB get TB'd and, and, and die you're risking 150k because of the 50k cave entry fee but this is it guys this and and, and I must clarify okay there are much better, much more higher risk ways of doing this. I always, I, I, I do the chain mace method and fucking spec for PKs and they can't even catch me because that's, I'll make another vid of that. But this is just, I have to clarify, this is just an extremely low risk guide, okay? It's just to get you out there, get you an understanding, a gist of the boss, just to really be like, oh, well, I can do this. I'm not scared one bit, okay? And it doesn't matter if I die because all it takes is to get lucky to get a Void Waker blade and, and you've got 31 million GP and then fucking do what you want, okay? So I have to I have to make sure you guys know that this this method really isn't 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 the way forward, man. If 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 you get TB'd, bro, you're dead. I'll tell you that again, you're you're gone. You might as well just fucking say GG, bro. Okay. <laughs> Now, Calvarion, I like to, to teleport to your house, anglerfish, well, pre-angler before, okay, so you've got that, um, and super combat before, and then you're risking nothing. So I drink here, and, and I teleport to Corporeal Beast, which um, is just on the left, which is quicker than that. You can get the, um, the Ferox Enclave um, um, teleport from the Ring of Dueling. That, that's obviously quicker, but it, it kind of gives PKs a, 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 a known whereabouts of what you're doing, and that obviously attracts attention. So I like to do this method, or make sure you protect melee because them Ents can hit a fucking nine on you, and especially the unicorns. So look at this fucker coming right at you, and then you're right here, okay? And 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 then you check. If you don't check, just flip and run through, and 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 smack them. Do you know I mean this is all you do? Now the boss itself, friends. Okay, it looks daunting at first, but really just do protect melee piety, protect uh, from item, and just smack the boss. And just keep moving every every so often, like when, when he does the lightning bolt. So you, you really do get used to it extremely quick. It is, it's such a simple boss. Slow down this clip if, if it helps, but just, just copy me. It's not hard one bit. Just keep moving. Um, if, if you don't know what to do, you just, if you get hit by a lightning bolt, it's only f three to five damage. If you stand directly underneath though, it's about 25. So just don't do that. Just make sure you're always moving and you're completely fine. And he'll, he'll sit, he'll call some fucking hellhounds. So you won't be able to do damage for it. Just do protect melee and just smack the hellhounds and then do, and then once they're all dead, you can go back to 
taking out the boss and it's that simple it will do one shield bash which i'll show you in a bit um just don't make sure you don't get hit by that because not but not necessarily the damage it does but it really does slow down the kill because it stops you hitting for about five or six ticks um so it just slows down the kill that's all um but that's about it, ladies and gents. Make sure you enjoy this. But don't worry about fucking PKs, all right? Do we, we, we smack them, ladies and gents. Don't worry if you flipping die. It's okay if you die, ladies and gents. And I'll say that again because we're going to make money. There's me getting hit, by the way. I, I, I got smacked on purpose because now I can't hit. You see? You see, now I can, though. But if that's all you do, you're risking 90 fucking K, man. Okay? Just, just enjoy the boss for what it is, and and I hope to see you there. I hope I have engaged you enough to to really be like fuck. I really want to do this boss, but I'm a bit scared. Fucking watch this vid, and and I'll talk you through it, man. Do you know what I mean? But the the boss is extremely simple, extremely simple. Um, and if a PK comes, just click the seed pod, man. Just be quick at the game, but don't worry if you don't. And and then you get a six sand view serums that come up to about 163k, and we're risking 99k. What, man? Do you know what I mean? The fucking what, ladies and gents? I hope I ha I've helped. I'm gonna do it obviously another like a higher higher. Uh, a higher risk version because I, I like to anti PK as well, but this is just like a low risk guide. I'm sure I don't want to keep saying it, but appreciate you.